What's up everyone? Today is the 29th of November of 2016. Um, this is a video. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Um, I'll go over that here shortly. Um, um, today's, uh, today's things we're going to use, as per usual, the Detroit's Starbucks mug. We have a Paladin, first release Paladin uh, Chief in Super. Um, which super is a that's uh that's a first run only thing. Um it's pretty much Lisa Beanie's uh finest is, is what it is. Um and it's very good. Today's soap is going to be the very first buffle head that I ever got. Uh Le Petit Fleur. Um I don't know, some of you guys have been asking um this in the past. Um right there, Nashville, Tennessee. That's where this soap is from. It's good stuff. Like I said, this is the very first, uh, this is the very first buffle head that I ever got, um, and it was sent to me by surprise by a very kind Redditor, Ragged Claws. Um, thank you, Ian. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and, um, get this going. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> this brush, uh, it's as gel tipped as you like. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely got that going for it if you like that. <clears throat> it's been a while since I've used this brush. Definitely not my back boniest brush, um, but it is good. These Chiefs, I've got another Chief, another 26 millimeter Chief. Um, it's in Briar, and uh, it's not a first run. It's not a first run, it's, uh, I'm guessing maybe second run, I don't quite remember. Um, but this is the first, uh, this is actually the first Paladin brush I ever had as well. Um, I don't remember what I was going to say. I don't remember. Hold on one second. some water on the old on the old dome skins there. Alright. Yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, get this lather I want. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so this is the first buffalo head that I ever got. Um, I got it not too long after I moved here. Um, like I said, uh, Ian, Redditor, um, actually had it sent to me, and it was a complete surprise, I had no idea, and uh, that was really cool of him. So yeah, I think I remember where I was. Um, <clears throat> these 26 millimeter Chiefs, um, like I said, I have another one, um, the Briar one in blonde, and uh, you guys know I generally tend to use very large brushes, at least 28 millimeters. But uh, <clears throat> these um, these 26 millimeter Chiefs, they get the job done, man. They're still able to hold enough lather for a full shave. Which in this case, I mean, you guys see, you guys know how I do it. One pass on the dome, three on the neck slash, well, three on the neck and one little uh, line up on the face but uh, yeah in this uh, these little brushes they still are able to um, build up enough lather and I think I didn't load enough on this brush so I'm going to hit the puck one more time This brush does not, uh, this brush doesn't have the backbone that the briar does in, um, in blonde. I've actually come really close to getting this, getting rid of this brush on a few occasions, but I don't know that I can, I, I just don't know that I can bear to do it, man. Again, it's not like it sucks. 
I just don't reach for it a whole lot, you know? But every time I use it, I always remember that I do like the thing. Um, I want to thank a lot of you guys. Um, a lot of people have been checking on me over the past... Uh, well, a lot of people have been checking because I haven't, um, you know, recorded a video in a while. Things are kind of tough right now. Um, things are kind of tough right now, so... Yeah, things are kind of tough right now, so I haven't really recorded videos as a result. Um, but, people have been checking in over the past couple of days <clears throat> after hearing the news of what's going on, um, you know, with the fires out here in the mountains to the, uh, to the east of me. And uh, that's really cool. I appreciate you guys doing that. That's really dope of you guys. Gets me right in the old blood pump, you know? Alright. That should be good. Plenty of lather left in the brush. Gang, a gang, a gang of lather left in the brush. <clears throat> Alright. Today's razor is going to be my very first Wolfman. Um... WR10C with a uh, with a uh, what are these? So yeah, there's a uh, there's some fires that have been burning. They've actually been burning for a while. It seems that they only recently have made the. Um, you know, the, the major news networks or outlets, I should say. <clears throat> but there have been fires burning in this area. Wow, it's, I'd say probably for about at least a month. Four to six weeks, I'd say. Um, and here's what's terrible. Is that the fires from a few weeks ago, um, they've, uh, they've arrested people in conjunction with those fires because it was uh, arson was the cause. Which is, man, that's whack, dude. You're telling me that you're going to start a forest fire in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park? That is garbage, man. Straight up. But, uh, yeah. And um, someone told me that they heard that they had nabbed somebody... Um, for this, you know, these these fires that have made it into the news the past couple of days, um, saying that uh, they nabbed somebody for arson. But I, I, you know, I just don't understand. I don't understand how wildfires work. I know, you know, they're just they're kind of started by the sun. Maybe like, maybe the goes through some water and gets concentrated like a magnifying glass I really don't know Amp magnified amplified whatever um, arm is bothering me <clears throat> but uh you know apparently there's been a major drought although I personally think that the summer itself I think the summer was pretty wet this year there was there seemed to be a lot of precipitation to me at least But they say this is like one of the worst droughts in ages, currently. <clears throat> and as you guys know, you know I don't really like living here a whole lot, but I definitely, uh, I definitely try to make the most of it. And um, I like to go driving through the mountains, you know, some very, uh, very fun roads. <laughs> And, uh, I really hope that the scenery isn't, uh, I just don't want that scenery to go. Not a good look. So, you know, I've been, uh, seeing a lot of videos of people driving. And these roads, and the fire seems to be, uh, like just a couple feet from the road itself that these people are driving on. It's crazy. Crazy. 
<coughs> particularly, excuse me, particularly, you know, when you see these um, long distance shots of just how big these fires are, you know? And to think that they're so close to the, to the road, oh man, makes me uneasy. There was a lot of rain last night, a lot of rain, but there was a lot of wind as well. And wind is definitely the friend of, uh, of forest fires. So I don't know um, I don't know you know what the status of the uh, of the fires is after last night. I'll have to check up on that. You know, I used to give Justin a hard time about these soaps being uh, very lightly scented. But man, once you lather these things up, there's no problem with scent strength, IMO. That's the first blood that I've drawn in ages. Feels like the first blood that I've drawn in ages. So yeah, winter has finally set in in the southeastern United States, at least in this corner of the southeastern United States. It's been cold lately, man. It's been getting below 30 degrees in the evening, in the nights. <clears throat> Insulation in this place is not really all that good. So, definitely not looking forward to these electricity bills. That little area that I just went over on my neck down here, um, I kind of reevaluated it the other day. And, uh, yeah, I just need to pay a little attention. Another, like, downward pass down here, and it gets it nice. I very recently finished a book. Um, that I like a lot, that I can recommend. Um, it's called The Residence, and it's about uh, it's about the staff of the domestics, quote unquote, that work in the White House. Um, because those guys, regardless of the administration, they always they stay behind, and um, they work in the White House. So, interesting book. I liked it a lot. I actually finished it very quickly. It was written by a woman 
that uh, writes for the New York Washington Post? Washington Post. I don't quite remember her name, but it's a great book. Lots of good stories of the uh, various presidents that have served, um, you know, under, uh, w under the, I guess, the uh, service of the, uh, of the various people interviewed for the book. It's cra well, it's not crazy, you know, it's kind of, uh, makes all the sense in the world, but those people, those people that do that job, man, secrecy is A number one with them. Apparently, it's really hard to get them to discuss much of anything about, uh, you know, living with the, uh, the first family. It's, again, it's a really interesting book. It's a very easy read. I was able to finish it easily in a weekend. Definitely gets a recommendation for me. Going back home this weekend. Gotta meet up with some folks. Should be a good weekend. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to a big time. Feels like ages since I've been home. I didn't go for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving really is not my favorite of holidays, my most favorite. So a lot of times I just kind of spend it by myself. One second, let me wipe off here. density of this brush kind of works against it IMO seems harder for me to spread this lather around Stop right there. All right. for aftershave. Today we're going with uh, Barrister and Man Barrister Reserve Classic. It's good stuff. This is the uh, the first one of these uh, reserves that I tried. This is the, uh, if you ordered from Barrister and Man during the testing period, this was the packets of aftershave that he sent over with an order was this stuff, the first iteration of this stuff. Scent was a little off, and uh, the stuff in those pockets stung, had more alcohol sting than this, uh, than what made it out in these bottles. <clears throat> and that is that. All right, everyone. Hope you've been well. I hope you'll be well. And uh, I'll see you guys again probably soon. Peace, everyone. Have a good night.